McLaren has helped me get to where I am today. My name is Ruth Chung. I graduated from CUNY in May of 2016, and I am a solo practitioner in the area of matrimonial and family law. My name is Amir Rasselpour. I am one of the partners at Rasselpour Torregoza, along with a fellow classmate and CUNY alum, Angela Torregoza. Since starting law school, Amir and I have always been passionate about immigration law, um, both coming from immigrant backgrounds. Um, I myself immigrated here from the Philippines, and Amir's family came from Iran. I'm Elizabeth Newman, Executive Director of the Community Legal Resource Network, or CLEARN, at CUNY School of Law. We are a program that supports our grads from the moment they graduate throughout their entire professional careers in really realizing the dream that they came to CUNY to create. We are celebrating our 25th anniversary this year and are really proud of the programs and the input and the impact that we've been able to have. CUNY Law has one of the highest rates in the nation of graduates going into public and trust work. Most of them go into legal services jobs or government work and those paths are, are existing. But for those grads, and it's historically about 25%, who want to go back to their communities and start solo or small firm practices, those paths are unchartered and that group really needs support. The beginning ideas for CLEARN uh, came from a series of meetings that Chris Glenn had with CUNY alum. She invited each graduating class to her apartment. Over and over again, we heard from especially the grads who were in small and solo practices trying to serve their communities, how isolating it was, how they didn't really have people to talk to about the work that they did. Sometimes they felt ill-prepared. After we kept hearing this common theme at each of the meetings, Chris said, we have to figure out some way to support these grads. This is part of our mission. They're doing the work in the community that we want them to do in communities that are not served well by the legal profession, let's figure out a way to help. Because what CUNY Law School was trying to do with respect to training graduates, which, which was a revolutionary concept in 1998, I was given the opportunity to really take Chris Glenn and Sue Bryan's ideas and create the reality that became CLEARN. Most law schools, you know, they're graduates on graduation. They walk across the stage and the law school says, you know, good luck, goodbye, and please send us your money when you start making money. And so we were conceptualizing something very different. We were saying, no, it's a continuum. And there are things that people can learn in law school and need to know in law school. And then there are additional things that people need to know, especially these small solo practitioners. And the law school can play a role. We conceptualized it as building a community of justice that started with our students and continued with our grads. Having worked in CLEARN, I stayed in touch with former colleagues, which helped me get into my next office, which is now in downtown Manhattan. I have two of counsel, attorneys that I work with in the business. I have now hired a part-time assistant, 
and I'm serving the population of New York that I want to serve, which is middle class New Yorkers, um, folks who don't have a ton of assets and just really want to get through the, one of the toughest times of their lives. We have used as our mantra for the last 25 years that in order to do good as a lawyer, you've got to do well. And what that is is simply that you can have the best intentions to serve your community, but if you can't survive economically in your law practice, ultimately you're going to leave the practice of law, which will be a huge loss to the individuals personally, but also to the communities who would benefit if people were able to create sustainable law practices. Learn has placed a major emphasis on helping people develop the skills that they need to be able to produce income, to feed their families, to buy a car, to do all the kinds of things that we aspire to do, but not at the cost of, of the people who desperately need a lawyer. And so doing well to do good is just not a nice saying. For most of us, it's a way of life. I got connected to Clarence through Amir. At that time, I was thinking of leaving um, the law firm that I was working at and was um, interested in exploring kind of more of um, community-based work. And Amir suggested that I reach out to Liz Newman and Lisa Reiner. But at the firm we were working at uh, before starting our own law firm, it was great experience, but it was 100% business immigration. Both of us wanted to continue doing family-based work, both of us wanted to continue doing asylum work, and there just really wasn't any space for it at the other firm. We had these skills as immigration lawyers, which we weren't really able to use in just the business arena. Learn allowed us to continue doing public interest work, also serving what we wanted to do ourselves, which was also to have our own business. I don't think I would have been able to do it or that we would have been able to do it without that support. Coming from an immigrant family, I am very proud to be able to help immigrant families be together in the U.S. If I did not go to CUNY, I would not have been able to afford a legal education. So I think like most people with immigrant backgrounds and or underprivileged backgrounds, um, CUNY has afforded people like me an opportunity to improve their lives as well as improve the lives of their community members. CUNY Law is New York's public interest law school and we give back in so many ways. One of the programs that Clern is most proud of is our community counseling program that places experienced CUNY alum, many of who are in solo or small firm practices, placed them throughout the city in pockets where they would not otherwise have access to lawyers. So for example, in the last five years, we've provided legal assistance to almost 27,000 people that wouldn't otherwise have their legal needs met. Going to CUNY Law, I think, was the best choice I've ever made. I don't know that I would have succeeded in another law school environment. CUNY really accepts people as they are. It's a family. Clern, you know, is a continuation of the CUNY family, and I think they're actually, they're a really important part of the alumni experience. If I were to give a message of appreciation to Clern, it would be thank you for developing programs around the young practitioner's needs. Thank you for developing programs that have a different array of subject matters and competent instructors. Thank you for thinking of us alternative students uh, even after we've taken the bar graduated and providing space for those who need different experiences before they launch into their next job, next or first job. Immigration law it can be very difficult at times. We go through a lot with, with the clients, but the, the end result when somebody finally gets a green card or someone finally can live with some security and not have 
so much stress hanging over them. It, it, it really makes it all worth it. I love what I do and I'm really grateful that CUNY gave me the tools to be able to do that. I wanted to do something, I didn't know quite how to do it, and uh, being a lawyer seemed like something I wouldn't be able to do, and CUNY actually taught me that I can do it, and now I can, and I have, and um, that feels great. I would say that in all my travels around the United States and around the world, working with law schools, that there's no other law school in the world that has paid as much attention to graduate, its graduates as CUNY Law. And I will also say, because of CLEARN and the lawyers who have been part of CLEARN for 25 years, people all over the city of New York, thousands and thousands of people have been served. People who ordinarily would never have had an opportunity to meet with a lawyer to deal with their unmet legal needs had it not been for CLEARN.